Hey guys, Joey with Simply Vegas and the Chuck It's Cruel Swall Group bringing you another property tour. Today I'm standing in the heart of Henderson, just minutes away from Green Valley Ranch, and today we're going to be taking a tour of this home right behind me. Now this home was built in 2001, but it's been completely renovated. Now I'm really curious to know what you guys think of the home, so make sure you leave those comments below. Now this home is six bedrooms, three bathrooms, 3,717 square feet three-car garage. I mean, this house is really, really cool. Now, as you can see, it has a standard stucco finish with a two-tone paint and standard barrel tile. But let's go inside and take a look. Now, as we make our way here into the entryway, you have a really nice covered porch. And if you check out all this foliage, it's really nice. You have this big, beautiful tree that offers all of this shade and protects you from that Vegas sun. So you have this really nice covered porch and it's open on this side. This will give you access to your backyard. But I did notice something that I wanted to point out. This here controls your irrigation. And what you should really do is cover this. Now you could pick up a standard uh, insulation sleeve at your local hardware store, because there is a glass piece here. And with the extreme colds that we do get in Las Vegas, this could crack and could really be costly. Now making our way back over here to the entryway, you can see you have a double door entry. Now making our way into the home, you have 10 foot ceiling in the entryway with this typical archway that you'll see from homes of this year, and it drops down to about nine feet. Here we have a five inch baseboard with luxury vinyl plank laid horizontally, and you have crown molding all throughout the entire house. Now, what's really common in a home of this year, you have the formal dining, living, and family room. Now this room is probably just about over 20 feet by 15 feet wide, so a 10 top, can go easily right here with your living space on this side, a nice seating area. Now, since this is a remodeled home, they kept the traditional rail and just painted it. Now, there are so many companies out there right now that will upgrade your rail. So you could actually do a modern horizontal rail, which you see in a lot of the newer homes today. So it would be a wood handrail here with the metal tubing, which you can change the color to black, white, silver, etc. Now making our way over here, down the hallway we have two bedrooms and a full bath, which we'll get to later. But walking in here, we have our kitchen and family room. Now here we have a seven foot island with a beautiful granite countertop, which is a two and a quarter face. Stainless steel appliances, black hardware, undermount black composite sink, which is great because it doesn't scratch, dent, it's very, very durable. You have a tile backsplash. Now, they did paint these cabinets. These are not uh, new cabinets, right? So they did paint those, which is very common in a remodeled home. They still look fantastic, so you'll still get a lot of use out of them. They did upgrade the doors to soft close, double oven, and your pantry on this side. Over here is the patio that we'll get to later. But I really want to point this out because I think this is a really cool modern feature that they did was this feature wall. Now this is all tile and I think what they did was they refocused the positioning of this room because as you can see they put an outlet here for you to hang your television. Most TVs are Wi-Fi these days so you don't have the Smurf tube that goes down for your uh, cable box. Uh, if you look around here on this side you have your coax cable. So I believe that this was the original position for the television. So I do like how they kind of switched the focus of this room and they put that feature wall there to really modernize the home. Now making our way here down the hallway towards the other two bedrooms, off here to my left you have the laundry room which has the same granite countertops, cabinetry, sink and faucet. Now both of these bedrooms are the same size. They're gonna be 11 by 12, so they are pretty sizable. And what I really like about this is that you have this window overlooking the backyard, and now this is facing west, so you're gonna get that fantastic light throughout the entire day. Now here we have our three-quarter bath with a glass enclosure, Carrera marble tile surround, and upgraded vanity. Now making our way up here to the second floor, as you can see, they put the luxury vinyl plank even on the stairs, which is pretty fantastic because in a lot of these homes, they'll just leave the carpet leading up to the second floor. 
Now making our way up here to this loft, I mean, look how big this place is. You can have a home theater, you can make it a game room. I mean, there's just so many possibilities. Now this is about 22 to 23 feet long by 17 feet wide. Now, I don't know about you, but I, I could find a million things to do in this space. Now making your way around this rail, I just wanna point something out. Typically when you purchase a brand new home, they give you an option as an upgrade to remove the pony wall or to do a continuous rail. So as you can see, even though it's a traditional rail, it still gives that real nice open and light feeling. You don't really feel boxed in in these hallways. Now we do have three bedrooms on this side. Now they're about 12 by 13, so they're again, they're great size bedrooms with a lot of fantastic lighting. So here we're inside the bathroom that services all three bedrooms. What I probably would have liked to have seen as maybe one of these bedrooms having access to it as like an ensuite or a Jack and Jill. But nonetheless, you have two basins, you have a beautiful upgraded granite, just like the kitchen, framed out mirror, modern light fixture, upgraded toilet, and you have the same Carrera marble as you do downstairs. Guys, now making our way over here to the primary bedroom, look how big this space is. It's 24 by 17. I mean, you can do so much in this space. It's almost like living in the loft, right? You can have your living space over here, like a little lounge area, your computer, your workspace, your bed and everything on this side. I mean, there's so many possibilities. Not to mention these beautiful windows that give you all that natural light. And again, I know I say it in all my videos, but you have beautiful views of Red Rock and all of the views of Las Vegas. Now making our way over here, we have his and her closets that are both framed out. They're mirrored closet doors. You have your shower that's again, wrapped in Carrera marble, as well as the casing around the freestanding tub. You have his and her vanities and a vanity for her. Now making our way out here to the backyard, you have this six foot slider that's dual pane, low E window that's really gonna keep that Vegas heat outside. Now making our way out here to the backyard, I can really appreciate the size of it because if you were to go buy a brand new home here in Las Vegas, your backyard is only gonna be on average 20 feet. Now that's a measurement from your house to your block wall. Here you have about 35 feet, so you can really feel the difference. They put in real grass, which is irrigated with the sprinkler system. You have really nice uh, mature foliage. And one thing I would recommend though, is some sort of covered pergola to cover this patio, because I'll tell you what, I'm standing in the sun and I can feel it right now. So over here you have your 45 gallon standard water heater, and here is a soft water loop. Now, we have really hard water here in Las Vegas, meaning that there's a lot of minerals in our water. Now, I do recommend you do a lot of research because there are so many systems to choose from, but I can tell you, you won't regret it if you get one. Here you have your pressure valve, so this will change your pressure throughout the entire house. So if you need a little boost in water pressure, this is where you'll do it. Here's your standard three-car garage. This is about 21 feet in depth. And what I like about this is that there isn't a column or a pillar dividing the third car. So you can actually fit three full cars here. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning into today's property tour. I'm really curious to know what you think of this home and the remodel, so make sure you leave your comments below. And if you like this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button. Now, just to recap, this house is six bedrooms, three bathrooms, 3,1700 square feet, and it's listed at 749,000. I am so excited that you tuned in today, and I'll catch you on the next tour.